Today I'm going to be treating Achilles tendonitis and specifically Achilles tendonitis with the Endo Laser 120. I'm going to come into the clinical protocols. If you look down the list you'll find Achilles tendon, tendinopathy. Tendinopathy is the modern way of saying it's one of the pathologies in the uh, tendon. Uh, we're specifically looking at Achilles tendonitis. You'll see here I'm using a single 800 nanometer laser diode so we're going to be doing three points we're going to be doing four joules per point and that's going to give us a total of 12 joules at 100 milliwatts that's going to take us two minutes we don't want to be much above 100 milliwatts that's uh, about the maximum recommended for uh, uh, tendonitis in the achilles uh, we'll go and treat the patient Seen from the patient's perspective, we're going to be doing three spots on the Achilles tendon. So you really want to aim for the thickest part, or if there's no swelling, the most painful part, and then up and down from that. So as an example, spot one, spot two, spot three. If you were doing the bursa underneath the tendon, you'd come from the side, just so you don't lose too much energy into the Achilles tendon before hitting the bursa but in this case we're going to come spot one two three and uh, the treatment will be split up across the two minutes let's begin in the middle So that's spot one, move down slightly for spot two. And I'll fast forward here just so I'm not taking up too much time. That's spot two and then moving up for the final third spot. Again, I'll fast forward just so that we're not using up all the time. And that's the end of the treatment. Back at the laser now, we're going to start the treatment. You'll see the timer start to count down and the applied jewel start to count up. You'll see this is spot one of three. So we're going to do a spot and then move the laser and do another spot. You'll find this uh, treatment is uh, used a lot in Achilles tendonitis, Achilles tendinosis and for bursitis below the Achilles tendon where in fact in the bursa because it's not as big you might want to give fewer spots and less jewels overall. The literature in and around the Achilles tendon tends to be quite split. You'll find some people have found, that's the first spot, improvements with the laser of up to 200% and down to only 10%. It seems to be the type of condition that people are treating with the laser. So if the condition is primarily inflammatory, the laser will have a good effect. If, however, the condition is not inflammatory, the laser wouldn't be the first treatment I would reach for. So if somebody has scar tissue within the tendon, I wouldn't be reaching for the laser. If somebody has increased blood flow to the tendon, that's the second spot. So you usually see the increased blood flow on Doppler. Um, that increased blood flow, whether you want to call that neovascularization or eosinophilization, um, it depends which term you prefer, I suppose. That wouldn't respond well to laser. In fact, if anything, you'd probably get more of that. If um, the problem was an actual tear, within the uh, Achilles tendon, then the laser wouldn't be the first treatment I would reach for there either. Again, just within, as with any other treatments, you'll probably find that laser combined with exercise therapy is best, and that's the end of the treatment. And there are some great articles out there on what exercise works best and how often it should be applied. Overall, I like the laser for inflammatory Achilles problems. 
um, but I wouldn't use it on every single Achilles problem.